Welcome to the McCaslin household. Owasso Village. Baptist Village, Owasso. With Brother Steve, I'm thankful for this opportunity to visit with you today. I want to tell you another story. There were two gentlemen who were visiting with one another. They were just going over some difficulties and some of the joys. And one of them said, well, I've been spending a lot of time in prayer, a lot of time in prayer. The other one kind of smiled and said, did you get everything you asked for? The gentleman said, no, no, I didn't get a thing. But I lost a lot. Surprised, his friend said, you lost a lot. Yeah, yeah, he said, I lost a lot. And then his friend said, what did you lose? He said, I lost a lot of hate. I lost a lot of anger. I lost a lot of jealousy. I lost a lot of things, a lot of baggage that I'd been carrying around I didn't need to carry anymore. We all have a struggle like that because there is two that are struggling within us each of us, especially if we are children of God. I'm reminded of Paul. I want to read to you some of Paul's statements about the internal struggle that was going on in his life. Listen to him in the book of Romans, the seventh chapter. Now, if I do what I will not to do, it is no longer I who do it, but sin that dwells within me. I find then a law that the present with me, the one who dwells to do good, for I delight in the law of God according to the inward man. But I see another law in the member, warring against the law of my mind and bringing me into captivity to the law of sin, which is my members. And then listen to him as he cries out. O oh, wretched man that I am, who will deliver me from this body of death? Now listen to him. I thank God through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Victim or victor? Which are you? Are you a simple victim or have you gained the victory? That's what the friend was saying to his friend. I've lost a lot. And he was rejoicing over the things which he had lost. Essentially, that is what Paul is saying. I've lost some things, but I still have that struggle going on within me. The struggle between the old person which I was and the new person which I am becoming. Now listen to him as he speaks further in the 8th chapter and beginning with the 18th verse. 
For I consider the suffering of this present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory which shall be revealed in us. For the earnest expectation of the creation eagerly waits for the revealing of the sons of God. For the creation was subject to futility, not willingly because of him who has subjected it in hope, because the creation itself also will be delivered from the bondage of corruption into the glorious liberty of the children of God. For we know that the whole creation groans and labors with both pains together until now. Not only that, but also we have the first fruits of the Spirit. Even we ourselves groan within ourselves, eagerly awaiting the adoption the redemption of our bodies. We know this, that the victory is that which belongs to the child of God. And I want to read further as Paul emphasizes this. Now we know that all things work together for good, to those who love God, to those who are the called according to his purpose, for whom he foreknew, he also predestined to be conformed to the image of his Son, that he might be the firstborn among many brethren. Moreover, whom he predestined, these he also called. Whom he called, these he, he also justified. And whom he justified, these he also glorified. All things work together for the good of God's children. You're a person of faith. You're a person who has committed your life unto the Lordship of Jesus Christ. Let me assure you that the war which sometimes rages within you also raged in the saints of the past. We should not be exempt from that warfare that goes on. We have the assurance of victory for all things, says the scripture, work together for the good of those who love the Lord. You'll lose some things. Yes, you'll lose some things. Baggage that you need not carry around with you baggages of hate, baggages of jealousy, baggages of your own mistakes, which God has forgiven, and you need to go ahead and turn loose of those if you have been forgiven. This I know, not just as Paul knows, but as I know from personal experience, you can lose those things that weight you down so heavily and keep you from the glory of Christ Jesus and the holy presence of the Holy Spirit working within you. Move on to a new day. Let, let loose of those things which are unnecessary baggage. Get the victory 
which is yours in Christ Jesus. Let me pray for you as I pray for myself. Heavenly Father, grant that the Holy Spirit will aid us and assist us and grant us the victory as we turn loose of those things that weighed us down and enjoy the liberty that is eternally within Christ Jesus and his forgiveness and the joy of his holy presence with us throughout the eternity of our life. This we pray in Jesus' name. Amen.